And I'm James Knowles and I'm the Senior Vice Principal Education at Royal Holloway University of London. I'm truly delighted that we've been able to work with Nubian Jack Community Trust and Black History Walks to honour our alumna Sarah Parker Remond with a plaque in Bloomsbury. Sarah led a really remarkable life. She was amongst other things an ab abolitionist, a woman's rights activist, a doctor. Sarah Parker Remond joined Bedford College in 1859 and Bedford College itself joined with Royal Holloway College in 1985 to create the current institution, Royal Holloway and Bedford New College. Bedford College itself was founded by the pioneering social reformer, Elizabeth Jessa Reed, was governed by women, and was the first women's higher education institution in Britain. It's believed that Sarah was the first black student. After graduating, she continued to study nursing at University College London, and later at the age of 42 moved to Florence and enrolled in the Santa Maria Nuovo to practice medicine. The importance of this education rings throughout her career. In her essay, A Coloured Lady Lecturer in 1861, she notes, my strongest desire through life has been to be educated. So while at Bedford College, she studied widely across many subjects, including classics, mathematics, elocution and vocal music, she boarded with Jessa Reed, and she enjoyed the company of a wide circle of radical English women, and she found fame as one of the first black women anti-slavery lecturers. Remond challenged prejudice and injustice at every opportunity. Throughout her life, she subverted society's expectations of what it was to be a woman and a woman of color. And she always spoke with pride about her heritage, never accepting skin color as a barrier to an individual's liberties, education, or advancement. I would encourage staff, student and alumni community to visit the plaque commemorating Sarah Parker Remond. It's on Grenville Street and find out more about her extraordinary life and legacy here on our website. So it feels really powerful to uh, see a blue plaque uh, revealed in honour of Sarah Parker Remond. Um, I read about her for the first time a few years ago and was totally taken aback by her story because I hadn't heard about her before. Um, this incredible African-American woman, an abolitionist who travelled to London, who studied here um, at Bedford College, which became Royal Holloway. Um, and I was kind of totally captivated by her story. Um, to now, so then to now stand in this space and actually see that plaque revealed in the heart of Bloomsbury, in the heart of academic London, um, is very, very powerful. So I feel very fortunate actually, because for me, um, it's really meaningful to be able to take part in this event. Um, when I think about Sarah Parker Ramond and what she represents, um, I have a really close connection with that, you know, I'm, I'm sort of following in her footsteps, I'm studying myself at Royal Holloway, I'm actually looking um, at the lives of um, black women in London at the beginning of the 19th century, um, and that's a story of kind of invisibility really. So for me, um, thinking about Sarah Parker Ramond and, and really giving that time to sort of think about her story um, and hear about all her educational achievements are particularly inspiring on a personal level. It feels really inspiring um, to see the plaque unveiled for Sarah Parker Raymond, especially because she's such an unspoken um, legend in our history. Um, and it was also so inspiring just seeing the speakers um, talk about their personal experiences and also how we're all intertwined and how um, our history is so powerful and so something we should be proud of and, and bring that into every room that we're in and especially when we feel like we don't belong in certain rooms. Um, yeah, it was, it was a great reminder that, that we do. So it's, it's amazing to know Sarah Parker Raymond's story because of how much it aligns with a lot of women studying their passions, going into the workforce, um, doing stuff that they love unapologetically. Um, so yeah, it feels amazing that I'm following in her footsteps that way.